Now, the final game on the slate here for Tuesday, we have Coastal Carolina on the road at Appalachian State. The Mountaineers are, let's say, six-point favorites. You can find five and a half. Uh, those are fleeting. It's moving very quickly to six and a half. And this game also has an over-under of 63 points. Kicks off Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. Starting quarterback, at least preseason starting quarterback, Ryan Berger, returned to practice. But Joey Aguilar, I think he's been decent. Uh, he's the third lowest pressure to sack ratio in the country, just 4.6%. That means he's getting the ball out. He's standing strong in the pocket and not taking a lot of sacks. But he does need to cut down on the turnover-worthy plays. He's had eight of those thrown in the last two games against Louisiana Monroe and Wyoming. Both those are on the road. He's also thrown five interceptions on the season, including one, at least one, in each of the last four games. Running back for Appalachian State, Nate Noel has eclipsed 100 yards in every single game this season as well. And if you're looking at the defense he's going up against Coastal Carolina, uh, it's an issue, particularly against the run. They're 106th in EPA per rush allowed and 90th in rushing success rate allowed. I would take Nate Noel's rushing prop at a lot of different numbers to be here. I, To be honest, I'm going to take over. Uh, I'm probably going to ladder it a little bit up to 120 yards. Uh, I, I think that he's going to have a real opportunity, especially if – they're not sure if Ryan Berger is going to be the starter or if Joey Aguilar is going to continue on the way there. But you don't really need to throw on this Coastal Carolina team to stay ahead. Uh, and even though Appalachian State's defense has been kind of bad against the run, they've been pretty solid against the pass. 14th in EPA per pass, but 130th in EPA per rush. Uh, the issue here, though, is Coastal Carolina's offense under Tim Beck just lacks any creativity. I've been on here saying it a bunch of times before. Uh, you know, The come down from Jamie Chadwell's system has just been difficult to watch. They're 62nd in EPA per play, 101st in starting field position. Grayson McCall is the, barely talked about him at all this year just because that offensive system is just, there's no creativity, bad short yardage play calling. I'm just, I'm against it. I, I faded Tim back the past couple of weeks. I'm going to do it again here. The Coastal Carolina's offensive line has been an issue getting a push up front as well. They have not averaged two line yards per carry in any game this season, but they do have an opportunity against that App State front. Again, that's allowing... 130th, uh, you know, fourth worst in the country, third worst in the country in EPA per rush. Uh, I, I anticipate them trying to get there, but, you know, when you're going against this Coastal Carolina offense in the way that it is right now, inefficient, not very creative, Appalachian State does have the ability to just hand the ball off to Nate Noel 20, 25 times and escape here with the win at home. Like I said, I, I'll fade Tim Beck again here. I'm going to take App State at home. Anything better than minus seven? Uh, is is a bet. I, I got a five and a half, a fleeting five and a half. If you can find that, absolutely six, sure, six and a half. Yeah, uh, anything under seven, I'll be taking Appalachian State to cover at home. <laughs>